so energy management first i will go through this what is uh, energy management basically energy management is a strategic decision you see it is strategic strategy of an uh, uh, this this can this uh, how do you adjust the optimum use of energy within your organization so that there is a need to to have a strategy for uh, optimizing that energy use energy how the energy systems are being operated and then how to reduce it and then how the you can you can yourself think of this is just basic innovative idea among all officers that how we can act as a you know uh, as a you know a vigilant uh, officer to reduce my energy bills and if i implement an energy management system within bis uh, uh, how it will be beneficial to us so this is a how this iso 50001 is beneficial to bis uh, like it will help us in reducing the energy bills number one uh, uh, energy bills can be very well reduced it's a hard fact if i use this tool iso 50001 as a you know as a as a in a in a honest manner i will be able to reduce my energy bills to the extent of they are claiming 10% minimum i i talk to them but it can be more it can be more i think it could be 25% even uh, if i if i am following this you know uh, their practices or any practices i am following for for this you know i i'll making a short term action plan medium term action plan so i can reduce my energy bills to the extent of 10 to 25% it has a direct impact on my saving number 1 number 2 is many of you are auditors for iso 9001 as well as for 14001 other systems what is the basic difference i am also a auditor for 9001 there is a big difference between iso 9001 and 15001 what is that difference till now we have a difference that we have a effectiveness of the implementation of iso 9001 and then that effectiveness is seen through the management system certification the different aspects like it cannot quantify whether it will actually reduce your quality it will improve your quality or not 9001 there is no quantification method by which you can know that look i have implemented iso 9001 and it is really improved my quality in 9001 we do not have any such clause if i am if i am not wrong similarly in environmental management system we do not have any clause which will tell me after implementation of iso 14001 what is the actual quantification of my en environmental effect but in 15 50001 in 50001 there is a really really there is a method there is a energy performance indicators enpis through which i can immediately know in which direction i am moving and how, what i have to do it is a well documented uh, policy which is explaining you it is it is it is explaining you all kind of sir it is it is explaining you all kind of you know uh, the commitment from the top management that this is look these are the things which are required and it should be understood by also the same thing which is we have been listening for iso 9001 again so it's a it's a framework document and it gives you all kind of you know information maybe that some legal provisions are also all kind of things will be covered into that and then it is been it is covering six criteria as is been right mentioned here so energy policy may look like this is just a template for uh, energy policy how it looks like this is just a template you can change it according to your liking ye to jaise hi just aapka ek illustration ke liye dikhaya hai it is not a you know hard and fast rule ki aap isi se hi banayenge according to your you know uh, requirement you can change this energy policy first and foremost requirement of uh, iso 50001 is that you have to make a energy policy for your organization this is that thing like we shall comply with all applicable legal and other requirements we shall improve energy efficiency we shall assure the availability of information we shall incorporate energy efficiency as a key component for new equipment we shall promote energy saving awareness to our staff so this is a, this is a kind of template which can be used